guys, Dutch here. So, the first video review I did uh, about this amazing book, Prince of Nightmares by John McNee, um, I did it a little bit in haste because I was so, so excited to tell you guys about how amazing this book is. So, right when I finished it, I wanted to do the review and I basically didn't even really talk about what the book was about. So, here is review number two, when I'm actually going to talk about the book and not just how flippin' amazing it is. If you like the horror genre about ghosts and gore, little bit of sex, you are absolutely going to love Prince of Nightmares. This book is about a house churned hotel that is filled with ghosts from its past. The Balador has a history, a crazy history, a crazy cultish history. As you read, you begin to meet the guests of this hotel, as well as those ghosts that have become the attraction and why a lot of people come to this hotel. Uh, they want the nightmares. They want to experience experience the craziness and all the things that they've read about. To experience the nightmares that have been plaguing the Balador since it was transformed into a hotel. As you read, learning about the main characters and the insane, insane experiences that they're going through, you begin to develop ideas and plots that you believe are taking shape. You internally delve into what you believe is foreshadowing, but as you keep on reading, some of it is, whilst most of it is not what you think. You become engulfed in each character, and just when you think something is about to happen or some huge plot is about to be revealed, boom, it switches to another character. You become a little bit angry because you want to find out what's going on Next, with that character that you were just reading about, and part of you wants to skip to the next section that goes back to that character, but as you're thinking this, just as quickly as you're thinking this, you start getting engulfed in the next character that they're talking about. Yes, you want to know everything about that one person all at once, but the way that John McNee has written this, you will not and cannot put it down. It just keeps you going page after page after page. You just have to know what's going on next with each and every character and ghost. I will warn you though that you may experience your own nightmares. I guess power of suggestion? I can tell you that I had one doozy of a nightmare that went along with me reading this book. It came with the angriness and the power and in my mind, the injurious nature of the ghosts, some of the ghosts of the Balador. As I woke up the next morning, I was actually kind of happy that a book that I was so into reading actually got into my head and I dreamt about it like I was actually there. I wasn't 100% happy that I had a nightmare, but I wasn't a hundred percent unhappy either. So if you are interested in learning more about this awesome book, uh, you won't regret it. It is amazing. If you have any questions about the book, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can find the author on Twitter. You can contact Bloodbound Books. I can open it to the right page. Um, on their website. Under this video, Julia is knocking over the camera. Um, if you have any questions about this book, I will put links under this video directing you to the Bloodbound Books website, who is the awesome publisher of this book. And um, you can actually find more of their books on there that are amazing by other authors that I am excited to start reading. And other links and stuff for this book for other videos about this book, and you can always leave me a comment. Uh, 
in the comment section. Leave me a message. If there's any other books or anything else that you are curious about and you want me to review, leave me a comment or a message um, because Dutch will review it because Dutch reviews whatever. So, um, until next time, bye! And Juliet, I, Juliet, come here. Hi, Juliet. So, Mr. McNee, um, you thought my cat was controlling the camera last time. She kind of was, um, but now she is here. Say hi, Juliet. She is happy to be on camera. <laughs>